Hi guys, this is Henry from TechLimps.com. I am going to give a short tip on how to customize your Windows manufacturer support information in Vista or Windows 7. If you have a computer with pre-installed Windows Vista or Windows 7, most likely you will notice the manufacturer's support information when you look into the properties window of your computer. My computer has been manufactured by Lenovo. So the manufacturer information is Lenovo here and you can find a Lenovo logo here. If you would like to customize this information and have your own name instead of Lenovo, I can have techlimps.com. If you'd like to do that and just want to play with your operating system, then here is this cool tip which enable you to do that. Okay, let's start doing it. Open up your run box and type regedit.exe. So this will open up your uh, registry editor and before we edit anything into this registry editor, uh, be careful that this tip is only meant for expert users who like to play with their operating system. So you can find a tree like menu on the left side. So we have to narrow down this key to, we have to select key local machine software. Then you have to choose uh, Microsoft here. Then Windows. Then current version. Then OEM, OEM information. So you can find the manufacturer informations on the right side where you can find the logo which you can change it and the manufacturer information. So we are going to change the manufacturer information and type the value as takeglimpse.com and I'm going to edit this support URL and add takeglimpse.com and if you want to change your logo so you can just select this logo modify it now I'm going to give the logo as the TechLimps logo slash logo.bmp So if you want to get your logo very perfect, make sure that you have it in 100 cross 100 uh, dimension. Now let's verify our information whether it has updated on the computer properties. So just click on computer and right click properties. So you can find the information has been modified here. The manufacturer is now techglimpse.com and you can find the techglimpse logo. Okay guys, that's the end of the tip and bye till I catch you with another interesting tip.